What is up all you gamers, YouTubers, and all you roughnecks out there? It's your boy Dale Rico, and yeah, it's been a, it's been a little while. Um, school's back in. I'm getting underway with my classes. I was just talking with my uh, my student advisor, counselor, whatever you want to call them, and uh, they're letting me know that my externships are coming up pretty soon, so I'm going to actually have to be putting in time into the classroom because... I don't know, uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I am studying to become a teacher and uh, majoring in um, creative writing and English. So, uh, yeah, in just a few short months, I'll be done with my um, general education. I'm going to have to start putting uh, practice hours, start student teaching here in the local uh, high schools. And uh, I've just been really dedicating myself to school just to make sure that that happens. Um, I had to get some fingerprinting done got to get some certifications met licensed and all, all all the little technical things so i've just been running around everywhere and aside from that i've actually gotten sick again um i lost my voice a couple of days ago um before that it was more just kind of like i don't know if it's a the the weather's been getting really cold around here so maybe uh the seasons kind of change help affect the, the the way my body's been adjusting i don't know in any event I am back. It is Throwback Thursday. I'm playing some Call of Duty, um, just cause <laughs> I haven't touched it in a while. So as you can see, I'm, I was a little rusty going in the beginning, but climb back up and uh, and uh, do some damage. But anyway, Throwback Thursday. We uh, we just talk about our uh, things, little stories from the past. And right now, the thing that that actually popped up is uh, here in my uh, here in my area. There's a thing called SJVCGPR, and what that stands for is San Joaquin Valley Color Guard and Percussion Review. It is something that I've been a part of ever since I was in uh, seventh grade. It is the best way I can probably describe it is it's like a halftime show. It's a field show, but instead of the whole marching band, it is just solely dedicated to the drum line. And what the drum line does, and I've talked about this before with uh, an episode regarding WGI and DCI, is they pick a theme they pick a theme they write the music they write choreo choreography and um they kind of act it out uh, while playing these instruments and that's what's going on in here in my town right now they're starting to get up the the venues are going to be opening up and uh, they're going to start uh having their competitions and i'm kind of excited i want to i want to start uh venturing out a little bit seeing a couple of those i definitely want to make it to championships and uh it's because of that uh it's because of that uh, that show going on that uh, res that kind of reminded me what uh, Throwback Thursday, which Throwback Thursday story I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, back in my time when I was uh, performing and when I was doing my drumline um, shows, uh, it was uh, it was championships. It was March. I want to say March thirty first, April first of uh, two thousand and two, uh, and I always remember these dates. So. You <laughs> you can definitely uh, double check these uh, these venues, but it was championships here at the local high school, and uh, there um, yeah we didn't have any preliminaries or anything. We just kind of we had a show date or we had a t specific time slot that we performed, and that was it. And um, that whole year, I was uh, I was really excited about this show. The show was called Puppets. And um, it was all original composition. Uh, the teacher had this. He sold the shit out of this show. And um, the concept was what he wanted to do. That he, what he sold me on was at first he wanted to just kind of make it like uh, silhouettes. He had this big idea of, of uh, having these big kind of clear backdrops that we would be behind. And you could see the strings. And then, you know, they'd light up a, a spotlight or something to kind of showcase us. And then... Eventually, he wanted to build this this big theater kind of um, state or platform, which uh, eventually he did. But uh, he, when he's when he's just talking about the show, he's just pitching us uh, various ideas of how he wants the show to go and how he wants to kind of convey the the theme and, and the overall general effect for for our show. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, he wanted he was talking about building the the stage and the curtains so that when you pull them back you see these huge hands hanging over him and they're holding the strings of me and the other musicians so it looks like we're actually being controlled by the strings and not drumming ourselves and I was totally sold on the show uh long story short about how we did we basically sucked it was ho I mean the music was there it was uh, there were a few problems with uh, a couple of the players they were kind of a little bit of troublemakers but 
so they ended up, or sorry, so they ended up getting kicked out, and we had to adjust our whole sound. We had to adjust the choreography, and so part part of it was part of our um, not so not doing so well in the in the competition was was due to that. But also, it's just we couldn't pull it off. It was a very fast song, very uh, technically written, so a lot of notes, a lot of uh, fast paced movements, and uh, yeah, we just couldn't pull it off. But anyway. Uh, the story that I'm going to get to, it was championships. And we were uh, we were about to go on. And, and when you're at these venues, and uh, when you're at these competition sites, you have one gym that everybody goes to in order to perform. Uh, East gym, south gym, north gym, west gym, whatever. And they have specific areas where your group can practice. And... That's the only place you can go. You have to you have to keep a main you have to maintain a level of silence outside of the gym so that the judges can properly hear the 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 show that's going on in front of them. They can give a proper critique. They can uh you know just do their job as judges and just focus on one performance. So uh we're you know we we're on the other side of the high school. We're perform we're out practicing and going over our sets, numbers. We're going over um you know, placement of different things, just kind of fine tuning everything um, for the night. And I, st with our group, we had this huge semi truck that we uploaded everything on, all the props, all the instruments, all of it. And um, we also have this first aid kit that the uh, parents would uh, stock and help. You know, keep uh, if if any of us were feeling sick, you kept some Pepto Bismol, they kept some aspirins. They kept a bunch of stuff on there, uh, gauze, just in case anybody like really hurt themselves. Um, I believe even one of our parents that volunteered was some kind of a, a nurse, so they knew all these different things to do. But anyway, I had a headache. I started getting a headache uh, around that time, and so I was looking in the first aid kit for some, some aspirin, and I saw this box, and it said Midol on the top. Now, I lived a very sheltered life up until, like, around this time. Like, I was barely venturing out. So I had no idea what Midol was. In my head, I was just like, Midol? Tylenol? It says it, it helps with pain and relieves headaches and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, this is what I'm looking for. So I popped about three of the pills because it was like 200 milligrams or whatever it was. And, um... <laughs> went about for another couple hours practicing and just as we're about to go on and perform I start feeling like shit and uh, I even like when I got up and put my instrument on I even felt dizzy and I nearly fainted I had to fall back and just kind of we were in the wrestling room so there was a bunch of pads and and uh, wrestling mats and everything I just fell right on the mat wrestling mat just to make sure that I wasn't falling on anything hard and uh Everybody like rushed to me like, oh my god, what happened? And I started throwing up a little bit. Um, my parents who were in the audience heard. They had some like water, bottled water from the concession stands and some juice. And they gave it to me. And I'm just trying to like, like I don't, I'm just trying to get my bearings. Because I have no idea what the heck is wrong with me. But my at all, it is not for guys. Just going to tell you right now. Anyway, that's the last, that's the only part. Or uh, that's, the, that's the end of the story. It's the end of the match as you can see. Um... <laughs> I know now, my doll, not going to be used for whenever I have a headache. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that story. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. I'm definitely going to get to uh, more videos later this week. And uh, talk to you guys later. Peace. Would you like to know more?